Winter break has finally come to an end, so now it is time to plan for back to school. All right, friends, we're gonna get started. One thing I wanna show you with my, this is my catch-all planner, is that I am using my mission statement word, which has my mission statement on the back, and my word of the year kind of as my bookmark for the week so that I am always intentionally looking at it. Also, with these Lights Planner Action inserts, they kind of have a weekly overview. And right now I'm using it as a brain dump, kind of a pre-plan before I get into my week. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off the discs. Like I said, these are Lights Planner Action inserts. They're undated. I do the printables. The dogs are here with me playing reindeer games. Life is good. And the kit I'm gonna use today is a mini kit from Exomama Plans called Winter Dreams. Um, I have two of her winter kits. This one is just, just ever so slightly in that Christmas vibe, even though it doesn't say Christmas, but like the gingerbread house. Here it talks about like ugly sweater parties, but it, it's not specific. So I was like, you know what, we'll use it for this week. And then next week, I believe I have her winter beauty kit and we'll be using that one. <sighs> it's so cute. I feel like we're going to just use all of the things though. Let's go ahead and start with the dating. So where I teach, we get two weeks off for winter break and I needed it, friends. I feel so much more refreshed going into the next half of the school year. And I'm sure part of that has to do with the fact that like, I'm gonna be starting beginner recorders when we get back. <laughs> Oh, recorders. A rite of passage. Um, I do love teaching recorders. I know it's always an on-running joke with lots of people about recorder. But I always look at it this way. I'm not really teaching the recorder. I am teaching self-discipline. I am teaching like the process of learning how to music. I really... Do I, do I want them to play it correctly? Of course I do. <laughs> oh, of course I do. But there's also some bigger things they're learning. There's a lot of cooperation. There's a lot of, you know, self-discipline. It's, it's always interesting to me to see how each group responds to the recorder. Last year's fourth grade group. So I start recorders in fourth grade and we continue it in fifth grade. So we kind of start it now in fourth grade and then in fifth grade we do it at the beginning of the year oh. i'm trying to decide if i want to do a header there or if i should move that up and then i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i can make that decision later um so yeah going back to school with recorders is always fun weekend vibes I didn't realize there was a to-go. I love these little clean things. I didn't notice those before either. Anyway, good times. So I think maybe I'll put these on certain days of the week or maybe they'll be my to-do list down here. I don't know. All right, I do know I wanna put these headers up here. That's, I do wanna do that. So, and then I gotta put numbers down. Date it, Holly. <laughs> and then with my other kiddos like so I teach music Kata 5 so 5th grade has finished recorders um, I do leave up because we do a program called recorder karate I do leave up like the few songs that maybe some people didn't get to on our learning management system and I give them a month to finish it up not for a grade, it's just more of a, hey, if you're a completionist and you want to get that done, to say that you didn't, it's there. And I was really frank with them. I said, friends, I'm only going to leave this up for a month because if you really want to do it, you're going to prioritize it. If you don't really want to do it, you're not. And that's that's okay. There's nothing wrong 
with that, but I'm not going to be trying to seek out what your plans are if, oh, flip it around, um, if, like, you're not really into it. Like, I don't need to, for lack of better term, waste my time when I have 600 other kiddo or 500 other kiddos to be watching out for. And they all got that. They were like, yeah, that, that makes sense. And it's just teaching that responsibility aspect of, of learning. And, and they were all like, so it's not for a grade. I was like, no, it's not for a grade. I have to label it as an assignment. Otherwise, you guys don't see it on the... Hi, Jules. You just investigating? Jules is investigating the planner area, which is getting cleaner, but it's still a hot mess. So what do you have going on for this week? I have some fun social media things that's crooked it's gonna stay um one of my favorite trainers for things i do with pink zebra is doing a a training this week so it's a pajama party is what she's calling it so that's really fun i want to label those hmm i think we're gonna go so we have four boxes here and four boxes like that. And her trainings usually are about four days long. So what if we did... We'll put her so I can label them as they go. Up here. Because a lot of times she posts the trainings during the day so I don't get to see them till later at night. Sometimes the next day, it just depends. Um, so yeah. And other question for those of you who are planners, how are you liking your planner so far this year or your setup for your planner? I am really enjoying the fact that I did a health layout and a social media layout. I have been this past week very intentional about how I am using those layouts. Let's put Weekend Vibes at the top here. Really making sure like that I take time to check off things, whether it's at first thing in the morning. Usually I do my planner checks in the morning and in the evening. Um, and it kind of corresponds with my journaling goodness those two let's do some to do's because we've got the checklist my goodness also we have snow coming this week um i don't know how much yet because it cha literally changes every hour goodness I think they're gonna miss having morning Zooms because during the break, I do a lot more filming that I don't t obviously typically do during the week because I'm, I'm gonna put a to-do there. Friday is kind of blank, but that's okay. Oh, we'll put the movie night one there. because we're gonna try and make Fridays our Marvel movie catch-ups because we are behind. So I'll put a little box like, I'll put this one. It's kind of like our at-home date night. And then checklist-wise, let's do... So yes, I'm trying to make sure that my plans are functional, um, that I'm using them because if you're not using your planner, whether it's to decorate because you just enjoy it, how, however you choose to use your planner, if you don't keep going back to it, then there's really no point. I am really focused on making sure that 
I'm utilizing my planners to the fullest. That's important to me. This is such a cute little kit. And then on the weekend, I'll do a little three checklist there. All right. Trying to decide what needs to go next. I know trash day is Friday. We have had so many <laughs> the last two weeks because our trash day is Friday. Because of the holidays, it's been Saturdays. So that throws things off. I almost want to put these, like make a little scene in the this week with the bows. I'm going to hold it to the side for a moment because now I got to think about that. I do, I do. I got to think about that. Let's do Tell Tuesday this way. Do I have a Tell Tuesday sticker? Maybe not on this one. I do need a birthday sticker. It's my dad's birthday. Hi, you two. Uh, da -da -da -da. I might not have a Tell Tuesday sticker right now. And that's okay. I try to put all the ones that like... Yeah, that's okay. We'll just use the... Right there in my towels. That's totally fine. That works. You know what, I think what I'll do is I'll just put this and we'll use it as my label for what I'm cleaning. And then, birthday. And we do have the cupcake. that up here. So this script is from Coffee Planner Mom. Her shop is currently closed. Um, but you never know. They might she might be reopening. Yep, it'd be 71. Good food. Don't know if we'll make it over there that day. <laughs> because of the snow um it's been weird so this system is setting up i sound like a meteorologist right i'm not i just play one on tv um the system as they're talking about it i think all i need is three there um the first one comes in on tuesday and we have had anywhere from people saying it's going to be a blizzard, it's going to be bad, to it's going to be mostly rain. And my favorite um, weather person who focuses on my area, because the hard part is I live close enough to Chicago that I get only Chicago news, and I rarely get anything about Indiana. <laughs> That's just how it is. So he focuses on our area because we are kind of neglected. And he's on YouTube and and he's a, he's a real meteorologist. Like he works for a news outlet, but he also does this on the side. I like him because he doesn't feed into my fear of snow. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't feed into my fear of snow. Groceries. Um... But it all depends on where this low pressure system ends up landing. It's it's so weird. So Tuesday is kind of a, a tricky day, and then we keep I keep seeing <laughs> anywhere from two inches to eighteen inches for Friday, and I'm going, that's probably inaccurate. <laughs> probably. 
Uh, what other things? I think I will do that on the sidebar here. I do have the winter dreams. Oh, I could use all five of these. Hey, are we playing too rough? Do we need to go to our houses? Can we settle? Things you say to your dogs. Things you say to your dogs. <laughs> So we've got winter dreams. And then I think what we'll do is maybe put these little boxes here too. And we'll leave the rest of this like space open for anything that might come up. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see my, more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Have a wonderful week.